Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this logic diagram and we have been given that when this output Q1 is connected to the input A of this XOR gate, then this logic diagram satisfies the given state diagram. So in this logic diagram, when this XOR gate is replaced by the XNOR gate, then here we have been asked to find from the given options which option preserves the given state diagram. So let us find that. So here we have been given that initially this Q1 output is connected to the A input of this XOR gate. So in this condition if you see then this A input is same as the Q1. Similarly this D2 input to the flip flop is the A XOR S where the S is the another input to the XOR gate. And similarly the input D1 to the first flip flop is same as the present state of the Q2 output. So we can say that this A is equal to Q1, this D2 is equal to A X or S and this D1 is equal to Q2. And based on this condition, this is the state diagram for the given circuit. So first of all, let us draw a state table for the given circuit. And let us see that indeed this circuit is satisfying the given state diagram. So here, this Q1 and Q2 are the present state of the flip-flop while the Q1 plus and the Q2 plus represents the next state. And here, this S is the another input to the XOR gate. So here, based on the given condition, this A is equal to Q1, this D1 is equal to Q2, and this D2 input is equal to A XOR S. So here, whenever this Q1 and Q2 both are 0, and when this S input is 0, then these are the inputs for the flip-flop. Because here, since the D1 is Q2, and the A is equal to Q1, so this D1 and A will be equal to 0. And here, since both S and A is equal to 0, so this A X or S will also be equal to 0. That means in the first case, if both Q1 and Q2 are 0, and the input S is also 0, in that condition, the circuit will remain in the same state. And likewise, when the S is 1, then it will go to the 0 1 state. And the same can also be seen from the given state diagram. So similarly, when the Q1 and Q2 are 0, 1 and the S is 0, then as you can see, the circuit is going into the 1, 0 state. And likewise, when the S is 1, then it is going into the 1, 1 state. Likewise, when the Q1 and Q2 are 1, 0 and the S is 0, then obviously this D1 will be 0 and the A will be equal to 1. And likewise, this A X or S is equal to 0 X or 1 and therefore this D2 input is equal to 1. So here since the D1 is 0 and the D2 is 1 so the next state of the flip flop will be equal to 0 1. That means as you can see from the state diagram when the present state of the Q1 and Q2 is equal to 1 0 and the S input is 0 then it is going back into the 0 1 state and likewise when the S is equal to 1 then it is going back into the 0 0 state. And finally, when both Q1 and Q2 are 1 1, or in other words, when the present state of the flip flop is 1 1, and when S is equal to 0, then as you can see, this Q1 plus is 1, and the Q2 plus is equal to 1. That means in this condition, it will remain in the same state. And whenever this S input is 1, then the Q1 plus and the Q2 plus is equal to 1 0. That means in this condition, it is going into this 1 0 state. So as you can see, for the given input conditions, this is the state table of the given circuit and it also verifies the given state diagram. So now, we have been given that this XOR gate has been replaced by the XNOR gate. So here, we have been asked to find under which condition the given state table will still preserve. That means here, we should connect the A input in a such a way that this circuit still preserves the same state diagram. So as per the state diagram, when the present input is 0, 0 and the S input is 0, in that condition, this Q1 plus and the Q2 plus should still remain the same. And likewise, for the different input conditions, these are the corresponding next states of the flip-flop. That means to preserve the given state diagram, these two columns of the state table should also remain the same. So here, since we have used the D flip-flop, so to get the next state of the flip-flop, the present input to the flip-flop should also be the same. 
that means if you want the zero at the output of the flip flop then the input to the d flip flop should also be equal to zero and similarly if you want one at the output then the input to the d flip flop should also be equal to one so correspondingly if we see the value of the d1 and d2 then it should also match with this q1 plus and the q2 plus so now to get these values of the d1 and d2 let us find out what should be the value of the a so now here if you observe then this a is one of the input to the xnor gate and here this d2 is equal to a xor as whole bar or in other words that is equal to a xnor s so we know that the output of the xor gate is one and both the inputs are same and whenever any one of the input is different then the output of the xnor gate is zero so here in the first condition this d2 input is equal to zero and here this s is also equal to zero so here to get the output of the xnor gate is zero this a input should be equal to one because if you see over here then this zero xnor one is equal to zero likewise in the second condition we want that this d2 input should be equal to one so here since s is one so this a should be also equal to one so that this one x nor one will become one likewise in the third case since the d2 input is zero and the s is zero so once again this a input should be equal to one likewise if we see the fourth case then here this required d2 input is equal to one and if we see the value of the s then that is also equal to one that means once again this a input should be equal to one so that this one x nor one will become one likewise in the fifth case the required value of the d2 input is equal to one and in this case this s is equal to zero so for this fifth case this a should be equal to zero so that this zero x nor zero will become one similarly in the sixth case the required value of the d2 input is equal to zero and if we see the value of the s then that is equal to one that means in this condition the required value of the a input should be equal to zero so that is one x nor zero will become zero likewise in the second last case the required value of the d2 input is equal to one and in this condition the value of the s is equal to zero so to get the output as one this a input should be equal to zero so that is zero x nor zero will become one and finally in the last case the required value of the d2 input is equal to 0 and here since s is 1 so the required value of the a should be equal to 0 so that this 1 x nor 0 will become 0 so now if you see then the column of a is exactly opposite to the q1 or we can say that now this a is equal to q1 bar so we can say that when this q1 bar is connected to the a input of this x nor gate in that condition this circuit diagram will preserve the even state diagram so we can say that when this xor gate is replaced by the xnor gate in that condition this a input should be connected to the q1 bar input and therefore for the given question this d is the correct answer